Hello, welcome to the great studio overhaul. Over the next while, I'm going to be turning this old disused sauna come laundry room into my very own art studio. Let's get started. So the first thing that I need to do before I can do anything else is to fix this floor, which is really disgusting and is coming up. I bought this a while back. Um, it's actually minibus taxi flooring and it's incredibly hard wearing, easy to clean, easy to install, super wide and it costs a fraction of what any of the alternative floorings cost. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be redoing the floors. So step one is going to be to get everything out of here and then I can start pulling up the flooring. Okay, so we have hidden impasse. Uh, this is not going anywhere very fast, so I've gone out to the hardware and have brought out the big guns. And yeah, let's carry on with this. It's looking really good thus far though. We're about two thirds of the way done. This is really incredibly hard work. The, they've used two different types of glue. Um, one of which just does not want to come off. So we're at the last, the last home stretch and then done, I suppose. Oh, so that's it. A hell of a lot of flooring. That took way longer than I thought it would. I was planning a day to rip up the old flooring and to put down the new flooring, but it was a day just to rip up the old flooring. So tomorrow is new flooring day. Studio floor day two. Um, today, what we need to do is just remove the, the remainder of the old glue, and then we can install the new flooring. It's fortunately lovely and overcast outside, not raining, which would have complicated things a bit more. There's a bit of the old glue left. We don't need to get it all off, just the, the flaky bits. And we're also removing the front of these two benches, adding hinges so it'll be more storage and getting rid of the decades worth of garbage that's been stuffed into them. This is dust that has settled on spilt glue because of course someone spilt glue. That's so disgusting. Inside so the seats. So disgusting. <laughs> 20 years of dust bunnies glued to the floor. <laughs> it is time. The new floor is going in. Okay, flooring day three. This has definitely been a much bigger job than anticipated. Um, but almost there, just got this last bit by the door and then 
the two edges. It is a little bit bubbly in places, but to be honest, I actually really don't care. It'll stick down eventually. Floor is done. It's not perfect. Yes, it's a bit wavy. I'm thinking ocean vibes, but it's functional, unlike the previous floor. I'm now just going to paint some sealant onto the rotten bits, um, which are totally dry. They're not going to rot any further because there's no damp in this room anymore. And then call it a day. It's been a few days now since I finished the floor. Um, I have since also done the treatment on the wood of the walls, which look absolutely fantastic. The treatments just totally change the color, which is awesome. It looks just so much better and cleaner and newer. And I've ordered the wood, my countertops and the boards to go over the taps, all of that stuff that will be arriving tomorrow. And I can then start getting that in. And I'm busy organizing an electrician to install some plug points for me because I don't currently have um, that access and to fix that bloody buzzy old fluorescent bulb to rewire that to be LED so I can have some good lighting. And that will actually be the big stuff done. After that, it's the moving in and cleaning up and prettying and making it mine, which it's so close. I'm so excited. You have no idea. It's really, I've been looking forward to this for so long, to have a space that's mine to work in. This will change everything. The ability to have the space to work in parallel on the various mediums that I work in, instead of having to pick up and put away every time I want to do something different. Um, I'll just be able to do so much more and so much better. And I can't wait to take you all along with, with me for the ride. So I will see you in the next.